Hello and welcome to a brand new series of On My Bookshelf and in this episode we're going to be looking at Aspen by Adam Gibbs. So this is Aspen by Adam Gibbs. Now, if you don't know who Adam Gibbs is, he's a well-known, award-winning landscape photographer, born in the UK, but now lives in Canada. He was awarded International Landscape Photographer of the Year 2018, and he has a very popular YouTube channel. You should check that out. I'll include a link for that at the end of this video. As I said, this photo zine is published by Kozu Books. They're based in Bath in the UK, and they're building up quite a reputation as a high quality publishing house for photographers. Last year, I reviewed Richard Talibut's Tides and Tempest, which is just it. It was one of my favorite books of 2020. And if you go over to Coastal Books website, you'll see they've got some amazing titles coming down the line from Han Strand, Anthony Lamb, Valda Bailey, and the third edition of Adam Gibbs' Quiet Light book. So I'll include a link for that in the video description below. Check out some of the amazing titles they've got on offer. The zine, as I said, is printed by Kozo Books in Bath. It measures 190 millimeters by 240 millimeters, and it's printed using Fedragoni satin paper. It's soft bound and has 40 pages. And in those 40 pages, it packs an awful lot of punch. The zine is a collection of photographs that Adam captured on a trip to Aspen. He tells you a little bit more about that trip in the foreword of the zine, but he also produced a video of that trip which I'll include a link for at the end of this video. It's well worth checking out. The zine opens with these two stunning images, which I imagine must have been taken with a drone. Now it's hard to say because there's no text information to go along with the photographs in the zine, which to be honest, it doesn't actually really bother me because quite often I get caught up in the technical aspects of how a picture was taken. So it's quite good to be freed from that information and allow me to really focus on the quality of the pictures. As always, the print quality from Cozy Books is absolutely superb. Again, the, the pictures are brought to life with rich, vibrant colors and excellent choice of paper. I think it really helps draw you in to that environment which Adam has beautifully captured. Quite often, you're looking through it and apart from the, the soft cover, you actually forget you're looking at a zine because this could be quite easily be a book. Adam's talent as a landscape photographer shines throughout the scene and he clearly has an eye for color as you can see in this image. We got the kind of paleness, whiteness of that bark, but then it's those leaves with that pinky, orange color in them, how they contrast against the blueness of the water, an absolutely stunning image. Adam continues to demonstrate his strength as a landscape photographer throughout this scene. It would have been all too easy to go to Aspen and taken lots of wide open Vista shots and included as much autumn color as possible. But it's nice to see Adam has wisely included a number of different types of landscape photograph, including these intimate landscape photographs of some leaves. This is perhaps my favorite image and it's a masterclass in composition as far as I'm concerned. I really like the vertical framing and the separation he's got with the trees. Barely any of them are overlapping. And then there's the use of color as well. You've got that turquoise water and the yellow leaves and the whiteness of the, um, of the trunks as well. And then of course, to set it all off, you've got that depth, but then you've got that foreground branch that comes out with the yellow leaves on it. Absolutely superb. So Aspen by Adam Gibbs. Is this a zine for your bookshelf? Well, I have to say, yes, I think it's absolutely superb. It might only be a 40 page zine, but it's absolutely packed full of amazing photographs. It's a type of publication you can sit down on a Sunday morning with your cup of coffee, have a look through and be transported to another place or even have your own photography inspired. They're not the type of photographs that I would normally take, but as I always say on all my bookshelf, and I've got plenty of books up there to demonstrate that, I like looking at photographs. I'm a fan of photography and I like looking at photographs in slightly different styles because I feel there's always something to learn. It's a high quality zine. It's probably one of the best quality zines I've ever seen and it's got some fantastic images in it. So if you want to get a copy of this, I'll include a link for that in the video description below. Well, I do hope you have enjoyed this episode of On My Bookshelf. And if you have, please do consider subscribing because over the next few months, I've got a lot of exciting books to cover. Plus, I'll be doing a few special things as well. So do stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button. But if you've got an extra few more minutes, I'm popping up the On My Bookshelf playlist. It's packed full of episodes featuring many of the books here you see in my bookshelf. There's sure to be a title 
in there that will inspire your landscape photography. But until the next episode, I'll see you then.